Welcome to American Info. Donald Trump is not required to make a written statement, a federal judge claimed on Thursday. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel to get the most recent information. The FBI smuggled some very important documents that were seized at the Marlboro Resort as he intended, so that his lawyers could investigate the material that was taken. Trump appointed District Court Judge Eileen Cannon, who is in charge of the special death penalty case, to postpone several important deadlines. For example, the review deadline was moved from late November to mid-December. Because of Cannon's decision, Trump will not be required to affirm under a satirical oath that the FBI planted the evidence. In recent weeks, Trump has made a number of unsubstantiated accusations against him, one of which is that he erroneously took government documents into custody. Cannon's first confrontation with alleged Special Chief Judge Raymond Eric, Chief U.S. Judge, takes place in the order. District Court, which on Friday instructed Trump to determine whether anything was missing from the list of items confiscated from the resort of Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. Trump's lawyers were left with a dilemma as a result of Deere's instructions. If the FBI acknowledges that the evidence was not subpoenaed and that the documents marked as confidential are indeed present in the property, then all of the documents were previously subpoenaed and may be used as evidence against Trump. Trump was also instructed by the master to categorize documents claiming executive authority into two groups. Data is protected by the government from people inside and outside the executive branch, like Congress and the Department of Justice, respectively. However, the canon's order states that the former president is not required to make such statements, at least for the time being, in support of Trump's lawyers, who have refused to make such statements. This is due, in part, to the fact that Trump can appoint a lawyer if he is indicted. Before reviewing the seized materials, the judge wrote that the plaintiff is not required to make a final preliminary objection to the accuracy of the defendant's list, description, or content. Cannon extended the entire schedule for his special core process at this point, delaying the completion of the final review until December 16, due to delays in a number of crucial deadlines that determine how quickly the 110 documents will be reviewed. After the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that it could restore access to approximately 100 classified documents this month, the delay has no effect on the criminal investigation that the Justice Department is conducting into the possibility that President Trump failed to disclose defense information. This, however, will depend on whether Trump provided evidence of both charges prior to the conclusion of the trial, whether he declassified documents discovered in Mar-a-Lago, or whether he planted materials confiscated by the FBI and discussed it under oath prior to the November elections. By October 13, copies of the 11,000 documents were sent to the Justice Department for Trump's team to use, and the judge wrote that Trump and the Justice Department had to finish the vendor agreement so they could start digitizing and verifying them. The order stipulates that the Justice Department must submit a settlement notice by October 14, at which point Trump must specify which document he believes possesses privilege and whether it is supreme or presidential within 21 days of submitting the notice. A decision regarding the plaintiff will be made based on each document, Cannon wrote. A reasonable statement outlining the appropriate basis for the appointment must be attached to each document that the claimant has determined to be privileged or private. Deere maintains a dispute log on privilege claims, and the order directs the special master to issue a report and recommendations to resolve all disputes. The lawyers for the former president and the Department of Justice have 10 days to speak. Cannon supported Trump throughout the trial. Cannon ordered Trump to finish a detailed diary by the end of the 21-day review period and rejected the Justice Department's recommendation that Trump keep his privileges. If this is your first time watching our channel, please subscribe and click the notification icon to receive updates on a regular basis.